Hi, I'm Silvana Franco, food writer and mother of two young children. I'm here today to talk to you about capsule cooking with steam and show you how easy it is to make one meal that will feed the whole family. Now first up is a delicious butternut risotto. So what you need now is a heat proof dish and preferably one with a lid. If you haven't got a lid then you can use foil. This stock is vegetable stock and you've got to be careful when feeding young children to make sure that you choose low salt and there are lots of stock cubes out there that are marked very low salt and that's what you want for young children. Sun dried tomato paste, I'm going to stir that into the stock. Now the butternut squash, packed with vitamin C, vitamin A, can be mashed down so a perfect choice for babies and young children. In it goes. On top of the butternut squash I'm just going to sprinkle the rice. Try and sprinkle it evenly across the top and finally the garlic, sprinkle it over the top and now it's just a case of pouring on our stock. In it goes. Using the steam oven it really simplifies the process. All you need to do is put the lid on, the butternut squash is going to soften, the rice is going to absorb all of the lovely flavours and when we take it out it's going to be soft and creamy without any of the nutrients being lost during the cooking. So let's just pop this in, there we go, onto the shelf. And I'm going to cook this at 100 degrees for 30 minutes. Now, one of the things I really love about the steam oven is that even though it's cooking together in a cloud of steam, there's absolutely no transference of flavour. So you could cook fish alongside pears without any worry. That's my risotto ready. Let's get him out. Now, if you can see in here, the liquid's all been absorbed and the butternut looks nice and tender. I'm just going to mash it up now with a fork. I'm going to be adding butter, just a knob, in it goes. I'm going to grate on some parmesan, just a few shavings for extra flavour and extra calcium. Mash it in well and just for a little bit of extra colour, some chopped parsley. Stir it in and then we're ready to serve it. Creamy butternut risotto. Now my next dish is salmon and mascarpone parcels. For this recipe I will need a leek, nip off that end. I'm going to slice them very thinly. Go all the way along until the green part and then stop. And I'm going to be using a perforated container so that the steam can really get around the vegetables and steam them quickly. Using the leeks as a bed, I'm going to sit the chopped tomatoes on top and then I'm going to pop that into the oven for about three minutes. While they're cooking, I'm going to prepare the parcels for our fish. I've got two squares of foil and I'm just going to lightly butter them and then just rub it onto the foil into the centre. Now I'm making two parcels here and what you need to use is one whole salmon fillet per adult and half a salmon fillet per young child. Now my leeks should be ready now and if you look here you can see how beautiful the colours are, they've really been retained there by the steam. So I'm just going to spoon them now onto the foil parcels and next for the fish, a little bit of zing from a squeeze of lemon juice and then it's mascarpone. Just put a spoonful on the top and then to finish it off I'm going to be using some dill. It looks pretty and it tastes great too. And then fold up the foil. Make sure the join is on the top so that you don't lose any of the liquid. Now they're going to cook for about between three and five to six minutes depending on the size and the thickness of the fish. So my fish should be ready now, let's take a look. So you can see all the juices are still in there and I've got some pre-cooked pasta, you could serve it with noodles or rice. Now, if you are serving this to a younger child, a small baby, I would mash it up roughly with a fork to make it more manageable. And there we have it, my salmon and mascarpone parcels. My name is Silvana Franco and this has been an easy guide to capsule steam cooking for all ages. For more hints and tips, go to mila.co.uk.